Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to 883 Air Commodore Leonard Virtual Squadron's 9th Virtual Annual Ceremonial Review. I am Warrant Officer 2nd Class Sarah Wong, your MC for tonight, and I would like to thank everyone who is currently watching our special annual that was put together for this year. Our agenda for this evening will follow in this order. Introductions of senior cadets, display videos, presentations and awards, goodbye messages from the cadets who are leaving us, a message from our squadron sponsoring committee, a message from our commanding officer, and the playing of O Canada. 83 senior cadets are an integral part of the squadron. They are responsible for planning, preparing, and instructing classes, weekly callings, leading and organizing events and activities, just to name a few. We want to thank each and every one of you for all of your hard work. We will now move on to the team display videos for each team in our squadron. For the music making cadets in the squadron, the band is the best place to be. With instruments ranging from flute to sousaphone, the 883 Brass and Reed Band rehearse weekly to fine tune our band drill and music repertoire. Through much success at band competitions, 883 Band will continue to soar for many years to come. This year, I had the pleasure of being the squadron's drum major. I'm glad to have gotten the chance to lead our band despite the fact that we never got a chance to compete. It was truly an honor getting to work with this group of talented individuals and their success is only all thanks to them. Shout out to Warrant Officer 2nd Class Wong Sarah, Warrant Officer 2nd Class Sang Frederica, and Flight Sergeant Fan Christopher. The band would not have been as successful without these individuals' help. Funny story, I did a lot of my maestro review in Warrant Officer 2nd Class Wong's basement, and that was probably one of my favorite memories from this year. Again, we didn't get a chance to compete, but we focused a lot more on building stronger bonds with one another and fine-tuning our skills. We attended a few parades, and I'm proud to say that the demand for a band to perform at these events continues to grow. Before quarantine, I'd say we were in pretty good shape in terms of drill and music. Not only did we spend practices working on these skills, but also for team bonding. We played a variety of fun and engaging icebreakers and team building activities that the cadets and myself enjoyed. In the end, we grew closer and this makes it all the more harder for us to leave. Here is what we were able to produce during quarantine. Here are a few words from our band members. Band is great. I wouldn't say that we are the best flight, just out of respect for all the other flights in the squadron, but we really are a unique and tight-knit group compared to them. Because of all the Monday nights we spend together and all the hard work and effort we put in just to make sure that our music sounds great for Wednesdays and that our routines are even better for comp, it really does make us a lot closer than a lot of other flights could be, even if they had Wednesday nights and flight nights as a chance to bond. And one of the great things about being in band for the past six years is all the memories that we've made together and how now pretty much any competition song that we've done has a completely different meaning to me than when we first started because now when I listen to it, it just brings back 
a lot of different memories. Memories from when we were performing, memories from when we were practicing the routine. Hell, some of the routine I still remember, especially if I hear the song again, it's really surreal just knowing that I have to leave and I won't be able to make more memories like this again because they really are amazing. And another great thing about staying in band for the past six years is just seeing all the new talent and the new potential that the band is getting. I know that it's not going to stop here and every single year there are going to be really talented people or people that have a lot of potential to be great that's going to make this band sound amazing. And I can't wait to see you all again soon. Hopefully soon. I'll miss you all. Hi, 83. This is Flight Sergeant Fan Christopher, and I play French horn in the band. And even though this year was cut short and we're, we're not able to go to band comp or annual or anything like that, um, it's been wonderful just to see you guys grow as musicians and also as team members, most importantly, working together to create beautiful music during our band practices and our parades. And this year is my last year in band. Uh, I just really have no words to explain just how much it's meant to me in my cadet career and just the inspiration it's given to me to go forward and pursue music in the future. And for all of you guys coming back next year and the years to come, I really encourage you guys to take what you learn in band, whether it's the musical component or um, working together as a team, uh, to take it forward with you to go and advance your careers and apply it to your future. And I hope to see you guys all sometime in the future and take care, everyone. I'm Flight Sergeant Fan Emily, and I play clarinet in band. Um, my favorite memory from band this year has been the few parades that we were able to play in and all the times when we were able to just play together as a whole band. My favorite thing about being in cadets is the summer training opportunities. I'm able to make friends, learn more about music, and just experience different music festivals, such as, such as a Scottish music festival, and just um, be exposed to a variety of different musical experiences through the cadet program. Hi everyone, it's Flight Sergeant Chan, and as you probably know, I play the trumpet. So, my favorite memory overall in band was probably my first time at a competition in band in level 2 at 180, and I remember playing Music of the Night for our inspection piece and standing next to the other trumpet players, playing the iconic solo part. And that feeling of um, performing great music after so many months of preparation is what started my love for band and has led me to continue growing as a player in 883 band for the past five years. So for this year, my favorite memory would just have to be all of the band practices where I watched you all grow as musicians and where I was honored enough to hopefully guide some of you and leave feeling confident that band will continue to just be as amazing as it always has been. So since I'm retiring this year, I'd like to wish band all the best in the future and to our trumpet section, keep doing what you do, because I'm sure you all know you're brilliant players and have great potential, and I have no doubt whatsoever that you will continue to go on and make amazing music for the squadron. And to the rest of the band, thank you for all the great memories over the years, and I hope to see your growth when I return to visit, so farewell for now. To the band, I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Continue to work hard, and best of luck in future competitions. With Warrant Officer Second Class Skokna as the drill commander, the drill team practices weekly to perfect their drill movements and their timings. Combining determination and constant improvement, the 83 drill team is the perfect group to represent our squadron. Before joining the drill team, I was not 100% confident in my drill. When I joined, I thought that drill team was just going to be Last year, I was recruited by some of my fellow level fives, and since I had a bit of extra time and an interest to learn, I decided to join the team. Ever since I joined cadets, I always wanted to be part of the drill team, and this year I took the opportunity to join. I learned that the point of drill team was not only to compete and show off, but also to learn, teach, and have fun. Drill team. We are the best drill team and 
some people may say otherwise, but I still think we're the best. Mainly because we've got uh, staff that will uh, nurture us and help us through our process. That's, that's what sets us apart. This year, I saw progress from the drill team that I've never seen before. At the start of the year, there were some drill moves that required improvement. We worked hard, persevered, and I saw the team become one of our best ones yet. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out on the Friday nights for you can improve your drill and make this year's drill team experience memorable. Joining your team has really improved my drill and drills, and it has also shown me a different aspect of the cadet program. And despite a large portion of our drill team retiring last year, we were able to recruit new members, teach them new techniques, routines, which they quickly picked up. We've seen each other's uniforms and drill at their worst and at their best. There's never any judgment, and at the end of the day, we just wanted what was best for one another. Unfortunately, the drill team competition was not able to be held this year. But our time and effort certainly was not wasted as not only we were able to improve our own drill, but our teamwork as a whole. In all my years of drill team, I've never seen a team more committed than this one. The level of commitment that each member brought really made this year special. Even though we weren't able to compete this year, I want to thank each and every one of you for trying hard anyways, and I know that we have the potential to be a fierce competitor in the competition. I highly recommend drill team to New York Cadets because um, good drill team needs to improve your drill skills as well as you can um, do their new drill movements as well. Also, Drill is an important asset and is a big part to all cadets no matter what you think you're on. So next year, I want you guys all to train harder than you have before. I want you guys to push yourselves beyond your limits so that we can reach the next level and we can compete at a much higher standard and that we can potentially even ace the competition. If we had been able to compete, I have no doubt that we would have done extremely well. I will definitely miss the team and it was an honor getting to compete with you all and my only regret was not joining the team sooner than I did. And I can't wait to see what next year brings. Thank you for a great few years, and best of luck for future competitions. So until then, I want you guys to stay cool, don't forget your wheels, and I'll see you next year. Hey Joe team. Thank you all for the determination, commitment, and teamwork you've shown over the past year. You told me that we don't need first place at a competition to prove that Joe team is successful. Although we've had our fair share of pickups and bumps, I can say without a doubt that this year has been a success for Joe Team. Although we are sad to see some Joe Team members leave next year, I am very excited for what Joe Team has to offer next year. Until then, Joe Team. The orienteering and biathlon team may be relatively new to our squadron, but they have definitely shown everyone how strong of a group they are by winning third place at the NGTA orienteering competition and first place at the regional orienteering competition in Ottawa. They continue to amaze us and we hope that our winning streak continues next year. All right, 83, let's talk about orienteering. But before I even get into this, let me first explain to you what orienteering is. Basically, it's a cross-country race in a forest and unfamiliar terrain combined with aspects of map navigation. That sounds really complicated, and it really, but it really wasn't. We didn't know anything about it until this year too, and look how far we've come. They literally just drop you in the forest with nothing but a map and a compass, and you're supposed to navigate your way around and find these points on the map and then touch these points in real life and make it back to the finish line as soon as possible. Well, that seems definitely really challenging and I assure you, all five members, I'm so very proud of you for taking the time, taking the time to train and overcome our disadvantage. And I know that because at the, at the zone competition where we faced off against squadrons from uh, the Greater Toronto Area and Niagara Falls, <coughs> We managed to get third place, our team, um, and move, when we moved on to the f finals in Ottawa, where we competed against Air, Army, and Sea Cadets from all over Ontario, it's over a hundred teams, we managed to get first place, and I'm so very proud of you for, for making that happen. So, 
to everyone out there, make sure to join orienteering next year. And I can't wait for us to get those again. A3 sports team consists of many active cadets who show the importance of teamwork while playing sports. This year, the team led by Flight Sergeant Donald Ng dribbled their way to victory by earning first place in volleyball at the 180 Invitational and first place in tug of war and dodgeball, earning us first place overall at the 1913 Invitational Sports Comp. Congratulations! Being on sports team this year has been one of the most enjoyable experiences that I've had in cadets. My year with the sports team was uh, pretty fun. I had a great experience being on the sports team this year. The sports team this year has been a blast. Sports team 2020 has been very fun. Hi sports team, thanks for the amazing year and all the practices and all the fun, going to comps, making memories. Also, like us like getting along and learning sports this year. Hi, my name is Karpo Gogna. My experiences on this year's sports team have been very memorable. Although this year has been cut short, all the members of the team were really enthusiastic and we've all been there for each other. At times, practices were tough too, but the physical fitness has all paid off in competition. Not only did I enjoy playing the sports, but I also made more friends and got involved with the squadron. And competing with everyone was uh, really exciting. So for my first time joining sports team, despite being asked to try out on multiple occasions, my experience was actually really good. The sports competition and sports practices were really fun and I always had a good time there. We showed a lot of teamwork, hard work, effort and will at sports comp, which is why we were able to win that day. This past competition has been one of my most favorite as our hard work has paid off and we had won. I hopefully in the following competitions we win as well but let's all just hope for the best. It was pretty nice, you know, we, we won our first tournament, you know, first time in, in 83 history, you know, dubs, we only take dubs. My favorite memory this year, um, well, it's not winning sports comp, although that was pretty great. My favorite memory this year was actually seeing everyone grow, not only as athletes, but as, uh, as individuals. Yeah, definitely. Hey Sports Team, hope you're doing great. I just want to thank you guys for playing phenomenally this year, and I really hope that you can maintain your skills for next year. So, uh, as for now, I just want you guys to stay cool, and I'll see you next year. I can't wait to see what next year brings. And I hope that our 83 sports team continues to do even better than before. Thank you to all the officers, coaches, and members of the sports team for this year's sports team success. I hope to see you all soon again and good luck on your future endeavors. My words of encouragement for next year's sports team is to play hard and never give up. So I hope we could like do it again next year and like have even more fun. Bye. I'm all, I'm so excited to join next year, to join next year's sports team and I hope other people join too. Thank you. The 83 sports team is a very fun and friendly environment. You don't have to be the best at the sport, you just have to show that you try hard. I'll see you guys next year. Hey sports team, it's Flex Sergeant Chan here. I just wanted to say thank you for making my last year at Cadets such a memorable experience. You know, I remember when we first started the team, we weren't very good, but as time went on, we put in a lot of hard work, put a lot of practice, and we got pretty good. It's, uh, it's sad to see that our year was cut short, but um, we had a winning team, you know? Um, we had a lot of youths, a lot of potential, a lot of people were eager to learn, and it was pretty fun teaching everybody, and yeah. Thanks to everyone who made this uh, such a great year. It feels great to know that uh, we ended our year off with a win at comp, and um, to everyone who's returning next year, uh, good luck. Hope you guys have lots of fun. Um, it's been a real privilege being a captain for these past two years. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Survival 83 Field Training Exercises. Every year, our cadets attend two FTXs to learn about shelter making and surviving in the wilderness. By staying with the squadron for a whole weekend, cadets can bond over yummy MREs and fun activities. 
Every year, 883 conducts its annual Fall FTX at Blackdown Cadet Training Center, and this year, Flight Sergeant Lung and I had the pleasure of running it. Usually every year, we also have our Spring FTX with much more participation and involvement with our Level 1s. However, due to recent events, we were unable to hold one this year. That's why we would like to give all of you a slice of the FTX experience. So, a little bit about what FTXs are. FTXs, or field training exercises, are overnight training excursions that, that expose cadets to the great outdoors. In FTXs, you learn about important survival skills such as improvised water collection, forging food in the wild, survival shelter building, and even first aid and improvised fire techniques. On top of learning these skills, every FTX has fun events for everyone to enjoy, ranging from fun night hikes to canoeing and even high stake competitions. In order to give you an example of what you'd be learning on an FTX, we've prepared this miniature demonstration of tying a reef knot. A reef knot is a common knot used to tie two pieces of rope together in order to make a longer piece of rope. This is useful in a survival situation in case you need to tie something together like your shelter, but your pieces of rope aren't long enough to do the job. First. Take the right end of the rope and place it over the left end. Bring the right end under the left end, then tighten. Then, take the new right end and bring it under the left end. Pull tight to complete the reef knot. Now, you have a singular longer piece of rope. At the end of this presentation, here is the winning attitude check performance by Flight 1 from the Fall FTX to wrap it up. We hope to see you all next year. There's no food to be seen. The kingdom of the mess hall, where the place to be clean. The wind is howling like the swirling storm inside. Good and keep it in, Salvis knows I tried. One, two, three! Let me eat! Let me eat! Let me eat before I freeze! Let me eat! Now is the time to recognize many outstanding cadets in our squadron. Congratulations to the following cadets who are being promoted to the rank of leading air cadet. LAC Chen Yolanda, LAC Duong Jason, LAC Fu Chun Kit, LAC He Jaden, LAC La Marcos, LAC Liang Jimmy, LAC Louis Brian, LAC Peng Jennifer, LAC Singh Raibir, LAC Sue Miranda, LAC Tripathi Shrishti, LAC Saccharitis George, LAC Wu Brian, and LAC Zhu Allen. Congratulations to the following cadets who are being promoted to the rank of Corporal. Corporal Abu Bakar Aljan, Corporal He Darren, Corporal Long Eva, Corporal Manhas Ruder, Corporal Reza Tassin, and Corporal Sharma Vani. The Best First Year Cadet Award is given to the first year cadet who has distinguished themselves amongst their peers by displaying a dedication to the squadron through general proficiency and accomplishment in all training areas. The recipient of the award this year is LAC Mark Lucas. The Sports Team Most Valuable Player Award is awarded to a member of the sports team who athletically performs at a high level, is consistently a team player, and is always motivating and encouraging teammates. The recipient of this award is Corporal Thomas J. The band's Most Improved Award is awarded to a member of the band who overcame personal challenges and greatly improved their proficiency and musicianship in the course of the training year. The recipient of the award this year goes to Psych Corporal Damasi Jasmine. The band's Most Valuable Player Award is awarded to a member of the band whose musical skills vastly stood out and were able to provide structure and enhance the band's sound as a whole. The recipient of this year's award goes to Corporal Gogna Shruti. The 83 Squadron Spiro Award is awarded to a cadet who has made significant contributions to the well-being, advancement, 
and reputation of the squadron. This cadet also upholds the esprit de corps of AA3. The recipient of this award is Warrant Officer Second Class Wayne Carey. Congratulations. The 3D award is awarded to the cadet who consistently displays the highest order of personal dress, drill, and deportment in theoretical and practical applications. The recipient of this award is Sergeant Chen Stephen. The passing of the torch award is awarded to the cadet recognized as consistently the most dedicated, imaginative, and effective instructor for the training year. The recipient of this award is Warrant Officer Second Class, Dagra Hooner. The Air Commodore Leonard Birchall Leadership Award is awarded to recognize the cadet who demonstrated a high standard of leadership in the performance of his or her duties. This year's recipient of the Air Commodore Leonard Birchall Leadership Award is Warrant Officer Second Class, Sarah Wong. The Staff of the Year Award is awarded to a staff member who consistently surpasses their level of responsibility and embodies the true meaning of a leader. I would like to honor this particular individual for the countless hours they have given to 883 and for always ensuring our cadets have an outstanding training program to follow. It is with great pleasure that I announce the recipient of the Staff of the Year Award is Lieutenant Michelle Lowe. The Commanding Officer's Commendation is awarded to acknowledge those who have demonstrated excellency in all areas and performed above and beyond the expectation. There are a few recipients for the CO's Commendation this year. They are Warrant Officer First Class Liao Alexander, Warrant Officer Second Class Wong Sarah, Warrant Officer Second Class Zhang Frederica, and Flight Sergeant Ng Donald. Congratulations to all, and thank you very much for all of your hard work this year. Congratulations to all award recipients. You all make the squadron proud. Although annual is the time of commendation and celebration, it is also the time to say goodbye to our retiring seniors who are leaving to do other great things. Having been level five officer for the past several years, I've had the distinct pleasure and opportunity to get to know and work with all of our level five cadets. And this year we acknowledge eight on their uh, retirement. So Warrant Officer First Class Alexander Liao, Warrant Officer Second Class Wang Carey, Warrant Officer Second Class Wong Sarah, Warrant Officer Second Class Zhang Frederica, Flight Sergeant Baskaram Kishan, Flight Sergeant Chan Alexander, Flight Sergeant Ng Donald, and Flight Sergeant Prasanna Ria. On behalf of Major Green, the Squadron Sponsoring Committee and staff, I'd like to thank you sincerely for your tireless efforts each and every week. Congratulations on this very rare achievement and good luck to you for whatever comes next. Hi, this is Faisal Nabaskaram and I just want to give a big thanks to everyone for making me the person I am today. I had a great time working with all of you throughout the years and I wish you all the best of luck in the future. Take care. To everyone at 83, thank you all for the amazing opportunities and experiences I've had these past six years. And good luck and all the best to everyone returning next year. Hey, 83, thank you for so many great memories, and I wish you all the best. Hi, 83, this is Flight Sergeant Fan Christopher here. Just to say thank you so much to the squadron for giving me such wonderful opportunities all these years to help me develop as a musician and also to grow as a leader. And for all of you guys coming back here next year and for the years to come, I just encourage you guys all to take advantage of all the countless opportunities that the squadron and the cadet program have to offer. And stay safe, guys, um, and I hope to see you guys sometime in the future. God bless. Hey, 83. I would just like to say thank you for all the great memories. Um, good luck to everyone who's going to be returning next year. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
Hey guys, I'm Fashion Fasana and I just want to thank you guys for an awesome year. I'm so proud of all of you for all of the hard work and dedication that you guys put. And I hope you guys continue KEDEX to the very end because it's such an awesome experience and I assure, I will assure you guys that you will not regret it. Bye guys! Hello, Flight Sergeant Quash here. It's been a fantastic five years in cadets, and I'd like to thank all officers and cadets for making these five years memorable. I hope we'll be able to see each other again in the future. Bye. Hey guys, Flight Sergeant Olaf here. I'd like to thank everyone at 883, especially all the great friends I've made there, because without any of you guys, I want to have been able to make so many great and fun memories and I want to wish you guys all the best in the future and hopefully I'll get to see you guys again. And so with that, I'll see you when I see you. Hi D3. Wow, I can't believe it's already been six years with the squadron and it's been a great journey. Thank you for being a place where I belonged and for teaching me life lessons and applicable skills. I will truly miss all of the friendships and memories that I've made with my fellow cadets and I give you all my best wishes for the future. Hello everyone, it's been quite the journey these past six years with some hard times but also with endless good memories. I'm so very grateful for this program and for everyone who has guided me and helped me become the person I am today. What I would like to leave with all of you is focus on your growth as a leader and as a team member as a care and as a student. So when you walk away from this program, you will walk away with many, many skills that you have earned throughout the years. Thank you and I will miss you all. Thank you, 83, for being a second home to me for the past six years and for really allowing me the chance to get out of my shell, learn a lot about leadership, and to get to know a lot of amazing people. And for everyone still in the squadron, I will miss you, and I really hope that great things come for you in the future, cadet related or not. And I'll see you around. Hey, D3. I know that this year didn't go as planned, but I want to thank each and every one of you for helping our squadron get through these tough times. Without your participation or support, the virtual training nights that we hosted would not have been the same. I also want to thank you all for such an amazing training year. It will for sure be an experience that I will never forget. I also want to thank the officers for taking time out of their lives in order to help our squadron succeed. Without your time and dedication, our squadron would not be in the position that, that it is in today, so thank you. To all the returning cadets, I wish you all good luck. Continue on the amazing legacy that 83 already has. I can see that you are all capable of amazing things, so never stop trying. I wish you all good luck, and I hope to see you all in the future. Goodbye. Thank you seniors for your messages and for giving your best to 83 for all these years. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. I would like to present a group of volunteers that is the fundamental support of our squadron, the Squadron Sponsorship Committee. With Ms. Pat Hui as the chairperson, the SSC manages all financial aspects at 883. We would not be here today without them. Here are a few words from Ms. Hui. Good evening everyone for support. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all the hard work from my SSC members. Without your support and dedications throughout the training year, things would not run smoothly and effectively. Thank you. This year is a real challenge to all the cadets and the staff. During this unprecedented time, all the staff and senior cadets 
are still working hard to provide virtual trainings to all levels of cadets. Thank you all the staff and senior cadets. Also, congratulations to all newly promoted cadets. I also would like to thank you all parents with your support to your cadets and the squadrons. We can see the commitment and the involvement from the cadets when they come in for the parade night. The last but not the least, all the best to our retired cadets. Wish everyone a safe and healthy summer. Looking forward to see you all in the new training year. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hui and the SSE for all your hard work. I would like to thank all of the staff who are the foundation of our squadron. They organize all our uniform parts, they make sure all our records are up to date, and they organize all our activities. We are extremely grateful for all that you do so that the cadets can get together and have some fun, especially during these hard times. Here's a message from our commanding officer, Major Green. Good evening to the friends, family, and cadets of 883. These past few months have been a period of transition for us all, and I really am proud of how well you've handled everything. It has been weird, to say the least, but seeing how you've all come together and turned the experience into something positive and fun has made me cherish the fact that our 883 family truly is one of a kind. Your tenacious spirit is infectious, and I hope that we can continue to spread our positivity to others in a time when it is so needed. I would like to thank the squadron sponsoring body, led by Ms. Pat Hui, for their generous efforts throughout the year. Your hard work is appreciated by the cadets and staff, and we are so lucky to have a team of dedicated volunteers on our side. Thank you. To my incredible staff, I am fortunate to have led my command years with such an amazing group of people. You each bring a unique outlook to the table to create and administer an eventful program to our cadets. I appreciate that you have all made my job easier by being so awesome at yours, and I am truly thankful for that, so thank you. To the wonderful cadets of 883, I am always inspired by how well you can adapt and overcome whatever is thrown at you. 2020 has been a year to remember, but why not remember it for something you enjoyed doing or something new you've learned? Why not remember it for your curiosity to learn how to cook a new food, for working on your new and improved fitness habits, or for making silly videos with your friends? Take this as a learning experience and remember the good parts. Be as amazing as I know you can be. To the cadets who are leaving us this year, I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. You are all capable of amazing things, and I can't wait to see what you'll do. Thank you. Thank you, Major Green, for persevering so that everyone can finish this cadet year beautifully. At this time, our squadron's band will play O Canada to finish off this year's annual review. Please stand for the national anthem. Thank you all again for joining our ninth virtual annual ceremonial review, and I hope you have enjoyed watching 883 Squadron's accomplishments this year. We will continue having activities over the summer, so stay safe and stay tuned.